you. Good for me. Just as much as yeah, yeah. Exactly. we want the bait. Now back back to my hyperbole with the gulags. What I was mentioning was when you begin begin as a collective to try to I will not sit here and listen to a Trump supporter tell me that we gave too much attention to white nationalists in the KKK. A man who wouldn't denounce David Duke when he was endorsed in the election. I will not listen to that talking point. That is nonsense. Here's my Since NAFTA, almost all the manufacturing jobs were sucked out of America. Like if you go through the upstate of New York on the train, you'll pass through town after town of just dead towns that used to be thriving towns, and now dead towns. And people are increasingly getting addicted to opioids because they're so depressed. The wall is going to be built. It's just going to take some time. We can't just go building walls. We need money. We need. Uh, we need things to put it in place. I mean, we, we would like to take the $43 billion that we spend in foreign aid and put up a wall, but unfortunately we can't just do that. So it's going to take some work, it's going to take some negotiation, there's going to be a lot of give and take, but the wall will be built. The most recent thing about um, DACA, um, I'm curious to see how that is going to pan out, so I'm not really crazy about that because I think that was one of his, he was very adamant about that on the campaign trail. But on the flip side, you know, I don't think there's anything wrong with working across uh, party lines and um, cooperating because I, I don't think we really had that for the past eight years. I think he should. St I think he should stay strong. I think he should say, okay, we're not going to deport you, but you are not going to get the benefits of, of an American because you're not an American citizen or you're not legal. So, you know, their parents. Their parents put them in this bad situation, so they should blame their parents coming here illegally.